right, Governor. Today we are taking a trip to two stations which are fairly close by, but have one unique, well, not unique, but one very interesting thing in common. Can you guess what it is? I'll leave you in suspense. We're starting from Stone today, a station I haven't caught a train from in many a year. But back in the days when I was cultivating my Jimmy Osmond Tribute Act, I came here pretty much every day to go to school. Things have changed a bit though. Here at the end of the platform, you can just about see where the old foot crossing used to be. Uh, now that was closed many years ago, after it sadly became something of a hotspot for suicides. There also, unbelievably, used to be a crossing here, right across the fast main line. School children would daily spill out just yards in front of 100 mile per hour into city trains. Must have been terrifying for the drivers. <laughs> Yep, this is my train now. Let's get on board. OK, here we are in Stafford. Well, it's time for a quick hop over to Platform 1 to get the train down to Tamworth, because that's where we're going. Hurrah! So in case you haven't already guessed, the theme today is stations which have two levels. Uh, this is Tamworth, and up there is Glasgow, and down there is Euston. So this is the West Coast Main Line. And here on the top level, we have the Cross Country Line. Behind me, it's Birmingham, and up this way, goes to Derby and beyond. And between the two are a whole load of these. I know, what was I thinking, right? So the original Tamworth station opened in 1839, uh, but as you can probably tell from the building behind me, it was completely rebuilt in the early 60s. Because Tamworth is an important crossover of arterial routes, it used to play a big part in Royal Mail's operations. And during the 1950s, Around about 2,000 bags of mail were exchanged here from high level to low level uh, in Tamworth. Obviously that doesn't happen today, and indeed Royal Mail are getting off the tracks altogether very soon, as we saw in the last video. Okay, let's go for a proper explore of the station, shall we? I like living dangerously. It is hot. So that's one two level station done. For the other one, we need to hit the door. So welcome. 
welcome to the second of our two level stations. This is Litchfield Trent Valley or Litchfield TV as it's sometimes affectionately known. And once again down here we've got the West Coast Main Line. And then up here we've got the City Line which runs down to Birmingham. Oh it's a tough life. Time for something to eat. Litchfield Trent Valley actually began as two stations. One, the original Trent Valley, was opened in 1847, and that was a little bit uh, north, I think, of where it is now. And then the line running across became Litchfield Trent Valley Junction. And then in 1871, they were merged into one, and the original Trent Valley station was moved a little bit further down here. So you have the two together now, which is nice. Unfortunately, like many stations on the UK's rail network, Litchfield Trent Valley has something of a dark past. The running lines next to the platform that you see today used to be just loops to allow slow trains to stop and pick up passengers. But on New Year's Day in 1946, a fish train coming south to London was accidentally rooted into one of those passing loops and ran to the back of a passenger train, killing 20 people. And it was an unusual accident in that it's one of the rare times that the interlocking between signals and points has failed. There'd been a hard frost, and when the signalman thought he'd put back the signal into the passing through position, the signalling rods had actually bent and it had stuck in its previous position, putting the train into the loop and causing a tremendous and terrible collision. So my time at Litchfield Trent Valley is nearly at an end. I'll see you lot when we get back to Stone. Well, here we are back in Stone, and I hope you enjoyed our trip to two two-level stations. Is it worth following in my footsteps? Well, Tamworth, I'd say particularly, is worth a visit, but you definitely need to use real-time trains or something similar to keep on top of what's happening. Uh, otherwise, you're going to miss a heck of a lot of action. This real Trent Valley, I wouldn't bother again um, from the point of it being a two-level station. Nothing really exciting happens at the top. I hope you've enjoyed this little trip out with me anyway. And um, don't forget to like the video if you would. That would be a great help and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. Again, that helps things get seen and helps me grow the channel. So, very much appreciate that. See you the next time. Bye for now.